Is my mic on and everything? Yeah. Ah, freezing ice. Everything is going down. You grab trophy? I think going into the New York match, we were confident. We had just came up with a win versus Toronto, who was obviously the best team at the time. Going against New York, we knew they were a good SD team, and going into this qualifier, we wanted to really work and prepare on our SD going into the Major two. We didn't really change too much our preparation. We didn't kind of adapt to it. We kind of just let things play out the way we play just because we trusted our preparation and our practice. And that's exactly what happens as New York are able to chain a couple rounds together now puts them at game point. Kismet, good stun. Tags coming through. Shotzi just barely still alive, but Sib follows up. Kill is good. And now Hydra has completely broken this play, gotten around the back, and my goodness. We've seen, well, I was going to say five perfect rounds of search and destroy for one team or the other, but it's only one small train that I'm thinking uh, fine. That's what I did. 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 It's kind of being tested a lot of the times on these online qualifiers, and what you can do it versus a good team like New York, I, I feel like that was a big confident boost going into the major. <laughs> Wait, this is actually going to be another very fun Karachi to watch. Take a look at the scoreboard. It's AG leading the way, 27 and 19, 5200 damage, top topping the lobby. Great work. Couple rotations lost in that game, but still a pretty, pretty good win. I mean, Seth's watch party is gigantic. It's it's like really good for the COD scene. It's really good for Optic. It's really good for Seth. Um, it's really good for Methods and Bows. We didn't know that it was going to take off the way that it did, or we didn't know it was going to be as impactful as it is to Call of Duty. He gets a wider or a much broader audience than the actual main broadcast itself, which obviously couldn't happen without each other, right? Like the like the symbiotic relationship between the the game and the and the creators is mega important. It takes a watch party, which seems like easy, lazy content and elevates it into something that is a real piece of content and people enjoy watching that over the main broadcast. So it's one of those things that like when I walked up to Seth, I was like, yo, congrats on the watch party. And he was like, it's just another day, dude. But at the end of the day, like it's incredible content, it really is. As far as like its contribution to the COD community, I mean, I think we couldn't have asked for anything better. Like it's, you know, completely overlapping uh, the CD, it's basically become like the scum league at this point. We had 125 to 130,000 peaks uh, for for the optic matches. It's probably my favorite thing to do. It's it, there's not that much stress. You know, it's not like playing ranked and you got to be locked. You can just sit there, chill with the boys, bullshit with the chat, watch some high level COD. So I love it. It's it's one of my favorite things to do. I think it's fantastic. They obviously he's obviously won a lot. Zinny is Zinny. <laughs> we have. Game 5, Optic New York, the battle for the one seed for Miami. We were down 2-0, now it's Game 5. Optic, Halo's in the grand final against Space Station. We came from losers, they're up 2-1 in the first best of seven right now. Hopefully the boys can take it all. 2v2 early. 2v2, the ARs of Optic Texas versus Kismet and Skies. 55 seconds left. New York are just going to throw that decoy smoke out to force oh. Optic Texas to hit the rotation over towards B, but they have read this to perfection. Yeah, yeah. Who says what? I'm okay. Above me, above me, above me. One stop single. Kenny's stun not hitting anything means that Dashy knows that he very well may be tested here at A. Sorry. Top single one, Bruce. Bruce might have a kill hit. Okay. Stay alive, Kenny. Two bunch of the let's get top right. Does he catch the timing doors? Pop, there's the first. Skies tries to battle back. No! Oh, yeah! Let's fucking go, fucking go, go Bruce. Bruce. Let's right. fucking go, baby. Ah! Let's the easiest for you. Let's fucking go, Bruce. Right, right here. Oh my god. Fucking good. Wait, wait, wait. 
Ah. That was actually the easiest read. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. Oh, Let's go. thank God. Oh, the you guys are fucking oh, kings. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so we are fucking rattling kings. Oh my god. god. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now you should have seen my screen. Bro, 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 dude, these guys are literally fucking AIs. Imagine if it just stayed the whole time. I wish it did. I mean, that'd be great. That was insane. Uh, let me know when we're done on YouTube so I can close it. We're, we're done on YouTube? We are live on Twitch. Hell yeah, Optic Texas, reverse sweep, fucking helicopter through the roof. I mean, dude, it's been an absolute roller coaster of a day. It makes sense. St. Patty's Day, Optic Green. Hold on, I'm gonna... God, hopefully we're here to to be a spectator on that day, again, it's like, there's nothing better, man. It's it's very stressful to watch, but it's just so much fun uh, to, to do it and be a part of it. So, yeah, it was, good. it was a good day. It was a stressful day, but it was a good day. Last guy either, absolutely. It's two shots, turn around to Goldor. It's Goldor. It's Goldor, Goldor, going in. Let's go, baby. It's fucked up. Good job, about. Nice ice, nice ice. telling me that I was gonna like like Zane a lot after playing with him and I and I have. I was kinda skittish at first about playing with him, but he's been nothing but good vibes. He's been really fucking good. Um I'm really excited for the rest of the year because I think we're only gonna get like way better. Cool play for us day one to Arlington was uh I'd say it was pretty standard. Uh there were some good fights, some good competition. So we just kinda did our work, did our job, we were just getting used to like the land feel again. It was good, it was smooth. Um not really much to say there. Like cool play was cool play. Fuck yeah! Three Hell yeah. Beautiful, man. Don't shoot those bodies, baby. It's our first tournament together, so obviously we're just going to get better and better and better. Um, the first series was like a little rough. Uh, I think we should have won probably a lot more convincingly, but like I said, we're still new. And that series was like, we lost the game three, but like, I don't know why Ryan, Ryan Noob's shooting bodies. That guy's just <laughs> fucking ass, so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we beat him again. Nice, dummies. One bullet bottom sub. Nice, Stop fucking talking about it. Fucking shit, boys. Let's go. So fucking icy. So fucking drop. Nice fucking map, Tom. Shit, it's fucking shit, dude. So, it's got something good shit. Shit, it's fucking shit. Another kill. Another killing spree here on the side of Optic. It's starting to get into a situation where it's desperation oh. for FaZe. Lucid finds oh, one. That's it! It's taking oh. FaZe apart! Look at the board though. 240 points oh. on the board for Optic Gaming. Formal's joining in now as well with a perfect kill himself. 245 and rising for C. It is not E. Optic Gaming will sweep the world champions. And the roster that was built for this task shows that they have what it takes. They smoked FaZe. And I was like, damn, they gotta be nice because FaZe is just like 
It's like a super team in Halo, from what I heard. And it's also a big confidence booster, like to beat the last champs winners. Oh the yeah, three of them. Like, they, well, that you have like a you know, that's like a chip on your shoulder of like yeah. these guys always have our number. Like it's good to so, get that out. Yeah, to do that and early in the tournament, like that's really good. I feel like I don't want to say we had like a bone to pick with them, but they did just beat us the last world. It's like that was like a hard pill to swallow, you know. Um, sitting in the whole off season on that note, playing them with Zane, it felt like a fresh, like a fresh feel. Like didn't really think about last year at all. It was just like you know, this is our new team. Like let's see what we're kind of at. And we played them really fucking well in that winter semis. They're always going to be hard to beat, but I think we were just on point. So luckily we got the 3-0 and kind of got like, you know, a little bit of revenge, I guess. But it was nice. And of course, it's your winner's finals. The hometown team, Optic versus SSG, both with new additions to their rosters. And lads, I'm so excited and eager to see what these two teams are going to look like when they battle it out. They're going to have to be the ones to make the play. Bell just won the Gaming are, and look at this, they're beginning to close the gap. Bound can be on one side, the rest of the teammates on the other. 40 seconds, and they're beginning to push into fight. Big Watch out, Watch out, Nice, let's go. Oh, Hide. Let's go, yo, let's go. 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 So I kind of celebrated for a second and then realized we tied. No, it's like, damn. Um, all right, well, hopefully we win this one. C currently being taken by Optic Gaming. This is a big fight, oh! and it's won by Dead Zone against Legend. Optic regain control, but SSG are still fighting with every ounce that they can. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One shot in the tube, in the tube, in the tube, in the tube. Made it, made it, made it. He's still there. Get in, Joey. Get in, Joey. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Wait, 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 wait. Cement one shot, two dead. I can look. See. Nice, nice. Let's go. Big fucking play at the end, Joey. Let's go, baby. Fucking job. Big fucking play, Joey. Let's go, Zen. Let's go. Let's go. One more. What's game five? Plaza, I believe. Plaza, okay. Absolutely everything. Whether it be a Slayer going 50-50 or a team winning one of their worst games. It's been back and forth between two giants of the HCS. Other people start doing damage. Like yeah. The street team especially, the camo guy was just like engaging in 1v1s. Like, and we're getting killed, but just trading. Like, yeah. The camo can be so fucking tough. Like, yeah. get top center, get info, wait for teammates. I'm gonna play for camo. Start fighting. Sorry. I'm gonna play for camo. Okay. All right, so what do you want to do, Joey? All right. Okay, we're spawning blue, right? So we should do the same thing we did online in that one tournament. Like, Zane and I, wh or whoever, we go out, because they're going to play for Thrust 100%. It's game five. Like, they're going to guarantee that. We should just play for camo at the beginning and all fight for mid of the map, okay? Yeah. We're, we're two coming out Flower Door. Mm -hmm. Someone can go blue truck and look bottom mid if they want, but, like, we need at least three guys fighting the guys loop and LR, and if we do damage... So I'm going to go with them. Yeah, you should just like so you could top of the window. And I'm you could literally just go three out. We could literally just go out three. Yeah, yeah. Like we're gonna do damage, and I'm just gonna go. I'm literally gonna sprint for camo. We just gotta watch out for the Tommy. If you're sitting blue window, just look at top yellow. Like once you see that, like if you yeah. don't see that many, they're gonna jump top yellow thrust or push flower door. Yeah, so just they be normally push that, but like thrust. Yeah, we're just gonna do damage, and then I'm gonna go straight for camo. If we if we get our kills, I'm I plan on dropping out of blue quick. Trippy with camouflage, kills going in their favor. I said how the starting strategy is gonna be very important. It's optic off the break, who seem to be firmly ahead, but great kills from Space Station to shut down those players who were marauding around for the middle. Teams, so little separates the two. Dead zone goes down. Trippy tried to get over the cover fire. Uh oh. Legends there again. Forging another opening, creating even more chaos. Legend still got Trippy down to no shield. Trippy falls. Two kill game. SSG need one. Eco falls. But now he's gone down. But it does not matter because Legend stands. And he stands proud because SSG are able to slam home the final kill. They take down Optic Gaming. And they will progress to the grand final here. I was so mad at myself when I died because I realized like if I didn't die we probably would have won. Um, I just got into like a really weird mix in the hotel area of the map and then ended up killing a guy that I shouldn't have killed and then by the time like I realized like what was happening the game changed. ended. It was just like super super mixy at the very end. 49-49 but we probably would have had the moment there to kind of clutch up if you know maybe it was just like a little, little bit more calm 
and selective about like how we were approaching the situation. But at the end of the day, when you're in a winner's finals and it's a game five, like last few seconds, last few moments, like that's just going to kind of happen. So it didn't, again, uh, this weekend was a lot of like, we really put our heart all into it. And so did SSG at the end of the day, put all, all into it. So when that happens, that's just the way it naturally unfolds sometimes. And it just didn't fall in our favor. Like when I killed, I shouldn't have looked so hard in the hotel, dude. And I couldn't have made it, I feel like. And I like, had to move forward for a second, and I like, looked at my like, bottom mic seat on the thrust, and I like, looked at that guy. And I should have just fucking killed him, grabbed the thrust, and just thrust him, and killed the fucking dude. Like shit happens, and again, it's just like all we need to talk about is just the general food for us, and it's just the comms. I mean, we know. That's all it comes down to. The comms will literally feed into everything that we're doing our kills, our slays, our small talk, our two mans, power ups, power, power weapons, it's all, it's all the same thing. Side to make the first move, but they've been spotted out. Player weak. Renegade Hunters, goes down. Hunt's face take advantage of this. They got one for one. Only one kill away and Formal decided to get up close and personal, decided to push across enemy lines, find snake fight, and gets the final kill. Formal makes a play instead of waiting for FaZe to make a mistake, and he punches Optic's ticket to a 2-0 lead in the elimination. Come on, one, there's two guys hot. Back up, weeks, back Two guys hot. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. One more, one more, one more. Back fight now. Three guys, three guys. Behind me, last guy, behind me, last guy. Last guy, last guy, last guy. Absolute. Stay alive, stuff. Dead. Nice, nice, Joey. Nice, nice, Joey. Nice. Run it. Just run it. Go to our hut, Zane. Oh, I will. Gonna I will. Last guy shooting me. Last guy shooting me. Last yeah, guy shooting me. Yeah, they're courtyard. After the courtyard. We got flag guys. Watch our base. We're going to come back. 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 we are going to come back 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 we are Going into into the tournament, beating FaZe twice, the returning champions, beating them twice, 3-0 both times. Like again, all signs were poor, pointing towards success and victory. The things I'm saying before a final, especially from losers, are things like the more games we win, the easier it's gonna be. If we win the first series, it's, it's like over, you know? Like, if you win that first series, it, it puts so much pressure on the other team to win. Another trade. It's gonna be three dead momentarily here for Optic Gaming as SSG step back into that hill. And this fight here, this could be Optic's last oh, chance to push oh. out Lucifer with the fight on bound. Trippy's gonna what? fight as well. Last chance saloon. And Optic stand up. Seven seconds left on that game clock. Optic know this. Eco has to go. He's gotta go right now and make a play. He's gonna make this play. It's dead zone! He's gonna dead do zone it. against his own team! That's Who it. wins the 1v1? The wins Optic game one! The last player alive, it's a 1v1. Here on the dead oh. somehow gets a back smack, but there's more kills to get. They have to slay one more time before the flag run. Eco goes into the flag, he throws a nade up onto no. the play. It's a brilliant nade, but the shots are pretty good as well. It's four dead! It's four dead for SSG! But Lucid with no shields has got the flag back to the Optic side. Now he needs to kill. Now he needs to slay. Or maybe he just pushes them all away. It's going to be a flag on the board now for Optic. I got shots, I got shots. Shoot, melt them, melt them, melt them. Midbridge, one shot, one shot at the sword. One shot at the sword. Okay, okay, stay alive, stay alive. Hold the angle, Joey. Hold the angle, Joey. Let's regroup. Watch your angle. Jason, sword, sword, or treat on me. Space Station, four dead. Optic with the flag back. Sends the crowd wild! Where is that up? It's a great play call from Optic if they can execute here. Camel's gonna be down. Oh. Big double kill coming in from Lucid. He's gonna triple. go for the triple! He grapples in! The killing spree and the triple! And there is the cherry on top for Optic players. We'll close down the final push from SSG. Optic Gaming. One game away from resetting the bracket. Before the Camel can make a play, let's see how they play this. They're actually going to slow the game down. They're going to sit top mid, try to bait the camo out. And Lucid maybe says, oh, they get the double. 48, 45, not over yet. Right now, you can see SSG are trying to sniff him out, but he cannot find anything to play off of. Space Station now go hunting for that last kill themselves. The camo has disappeared. Lucid will be the final kill. And SSG answer back to Optic. It's 3-2 now, but SSG are hot on the tails.
Yeah, it was game six in the grand finals. It was really back and forth the entire time. And um, we find ourselves on Solitude Strongholds. Since the last tournament, they've now taken that game mode out. So that game mode won't be played again. But, I mean, it was in our series, and it was like a showcase of pretty much the worst case scenario for one team, which was us. All the matches were close besides like a stronghold. We got cheese on the Yeah, what was that? That was like, it's 250 to three or whatever it yeah. was. If you lose the break off, you get a thrust, camo, a shock rifle, and a repulsor, and map positioning, and you know where they're spawning, and they all have to funnel through one doorway to even get a chance of capping one point. So while you're sitting in the trip cap, if you fuck up once, you're down 100. If you're to fuck up twice, you're down 200. If you fuck up three times, the game's over. You fuck up three times. Yo, this is domination from SSG. Staggered spawns, though. Look at this. They might be able to finish C. We'll have to see. It's three dead. Denzo's last player on driveway. That's going to be the game. Oh, yeah. We were watching, uh, I believe it was Solitude Strongholds, and we had Nick there, which was very, really helpful. And he was just giving us some insight on the strongholds on Solitude and how it can get out of hand really quickly and it got out of hand really quickly i think we lost like 250 to 3. 32 they crossed the 40 point mark now only eight kills away from closing it out well i said they needed the overshield dead zone got the overshield but he's already being challenged by multiple members eco with the kill usually I like to think of myself as like very like I see like game five player, game seven player, and I just drop like two kills to get bounced out of the tournament. Four more's gonna be last alive here. So respawns do come in and that might help him stay alive long enough for Trippy to come in to beat. It's 45 to 39. Do not adjust your TVs here, everybody. That's just kind of the way it unfolded. There's no like big uh, revelations or incredible things that really were happening. It was, it was a little bit of a fizzle out. It's 49 as legend looks for the 50th. Not just for SSG, but for all of international Halo. Well, congrats to... Congrats to Legend, man. Fuck! Well, chemistry needs to develop. Uh, unspoken chemistry needs to develop. Um, and we just need to see what's up. You know, second place isn't, isn't something to be mad at. Not what we want, obviously, but... Second place isn't something to shy at, and so I don't know. I think I think it's an exciting team, and like anything else, we're gonna give it time to develop. Is our walking back? Yeah. Yep. What's up, ladies and gents? We are all, all done. Everybody, we can meet out in the, the showroom and, and then we'll wrap up and do the fun part. Love y'all. It's a really interesting league this year. The top four is just so far ahead of everyone. There's not really, it's not close. Like each tier is very distinguishable watching the teams play each other. I feel like we haven't really seen this big of a skill gap difference from tier to tier, at least in recent years. A 1-0 record from Optic and 0-1 record for Miami, which means you basically know nothing. No intel you can read, you can't watch over VOD and really glean any amount of information. Dude, I feel like Miami's just like a checkout team. And this is utterly destructive too from Optic. The tides have turned, they've got the money hill and they got the setup over towards new. The last man on the hill is going to be lucky. Does he have enough health? The answer is no. Pred can't quite get to the time, but Shotzi is here. 248, 249, and game. Well, once the bracket was laid out, then we had Miami. We're very, very confident. Four versus two now from Optic. Just gonna seal the deal with dominance. Honestly, going into that series, there was a little bit of, of worry. You know, just first match on land, first match jitters. There's always that little bit of worry, but the boys handle it well. Uh, Miami hasn't won a map on land this year, so <laughs> they're always well. Heretics lost shots now to stay alive in the series. I mean, teamwork like that, that is what dreams are made of. It is players nearby. on the day and that is that the 3-0 is complete 
there was a hand gesture made, and then after that, that they just go. haven't won anything. It's like some, but there's like a lot more fingers now. It's like yeah. 12 or something. Here, we could just, that's three. Uh, here, and I'll do the other three. So yeah. that's 0 and 12. Yeah, something like that. I think it'd be a dope, like, little story, but I think New York's too much for him. I mean, so I boy, Mark, Mark, he's that. giving me more lizard. Why don't you just dump that into that? It's been the crazy, like the, I guess you call like the iterations of the watch party from the, the first one to like the one that we just did, it, that we just did in Miami is crazy. Like the, the building of it is insane. Cause the first one we figured it out with just stuff we have laying around the office to now it's like a very well oiled machine. The watch party vibe in Miami was dope because it, it sort of took us out of our elements and it, it, it made it seem very Miami like. We did something new. We got an Airbnb. All of us were together the whole weekend. There's nothing better than waking up going downstairs, eating breakfast, and then just watching COD with the boys all day in a Miami just mansion. What? Basie? Yeah, like the base up. Yeah, the other one was kind of chill, I'm not gonna lie. It's not that cold up here, honestly. Just trying, just trying to convince kind of myself. Warm. Yeah, you're one love, bro. <laughs> you're one We had uh, another match versus Ultra in round two. At the time, they're still the best team because nobody has won another event. Um, and for us, we just know, like, when you play them, you have to be on point teamwork-wise and fundamental-wise. You can't fall asleep on the sticks. A few more kills, so if you're Ultra, Optic now on the approach. Kenny and Pred find theirs. You're in the time. It's 10 for the win. Hold it now. Inside of Pop, getting back down. Shots are going. Hunting. He's going to give you the kill, and he's going to give Optic the game. Optic sniff out. Because we get into this mode where we're playing offense on defense. It's so easy too. And they, dude, Ann was like, oh, we should start offense. I'm like, sure about that? Like, let's, let's like work this out. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. I mean, that shit hasn't worked when we've done it, so. <laughs> So Optic are playing with options in the first blood. Kleenex is challenged. He is dying, and so is everybody on Ultra. Optic looking dominant on Invasion. This is a brutally impressive performance. They take the initiative. They do not relent. Bomb planted now. On board. Oh, no. Big Bruce has gunned him. Can he take inside as well? This is for the map. The pressure is there. Optic Texas. That top left spot, bro. Holy fuck. Was it, wait, was it a double leg? Wait, that's oh, yeah, yeah, hard like, dude. Run. When I was double, what happened to you? I was mad about, I got that glitch. When you run off the bomb slow. I, I don't know how to get out of it. I'm not playing the bomb. That's how dirty flow and cafe that They like force stack, like. Me and when you said they were rushing me, I literally turned, I got out the bomb and I wall banged the fuck. Was that one shot? Uh, I was on your POV, dude, but there was dude, I tagged off. They were both shot. They were probably shot. I did, your, I did that hop thing, and I think the next one I had The setup is now on them. They have absolutely silenced Shotzi in the game so far at 4 and 14, and this is going to help as well. Well, nobody from Ultra really nearby to make this break. Fuck. No, bro. How many, what is it, five times to play that streak now? One thing that I, I've learned from this team, the composure that they have is probably the strongest that we've ever had on a COD team, is they can go down 100 points and they'll work it back. Fred now pushes forward to that front line, but Ultra now through the back. Kenny, Kenny gets two. There's another one here for it. Kleenex finds another. Wait, the cut. They're through. Insights dealt the damage, but the time's still ticking. Cruz might be too slow. You have to get in the point. Hit the gas. Hit the go button. It's in enough.
Bruce, I'm so happy what you listened to. That first time, P2, we got waved. And you, you see, you fucking smoked. Killed the one dude that tried fucking. You killed the one dude that tried to go on you, and then you, st you killed the guy pushing you. You got dirty flow. How much? Five times we died on streaks in the major control. Dude, everyone, no, I was too off one, everyone, everyone was twice. Everyone was at five. That shit was insane. I'm telling you, if I would have got that clip, you would have seen an insane time. Uh, I would actually dove off the first? stage. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, if I got that four piece for the win, I would actually dove off the stage. I'm trying to think of like the best. Bro, look at this. Look at this, end. I thought they were over there. So I was talking shit to them. Look, look, look. I, I talked shit to the wrong way. Look. Oh, look, look. Look, look. Oh, that was shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were there. Wait, why do you do yeah, that? I was like, wait, they're not there. <laughs> Vision's back. We're back. Is it full time or not? Probably not, right? Where, they're not. They're not worthy for you and shit. No, it's gonna turn out crazy. But uh, what, do you, what is that designer? Control is just over in a three zero. If any one of you got a streak, oh, I, I should have. I should have had the streak one time. Oh. Bro, I don't even you really didn't think he was gonna come back? Dude, not nah, with nah. that. Trust me, trust me. I, I did, but for whatever reason, I thought I could get to the village before you like. That's all I got, man. You guys got anything to say? Thank you, guys, man. It was a long one. Tomorrow, as we expected, the top four are the top yeah. four. Optic first phase. I don't think you can really ask for a better matchup than that in the winners' final. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. Appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Well. Good night, guys. Yeah. Lizard juice. Boys, great fucking job today. I'm about to piss myself. This was a fucking long one, mate. That was super long. What? Ass, 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 ass! Don't get loud with me, you dog shit fucks! So we're just coming up with win versus Toronto. We were obviously got a versus FaZe in the winners finals. We were definitely really, really confident because obviously FaZe is a really good team, but we knew if we won that match, we felt like we were gonna win that event. Neither team now able to close it out. Optic will look up to pick up the rest of the time. Everybody palace side now for Atlanta FaZe. 10 on the play clock, 20 in the point. You we're might have to play for like a, a, P, a P4 setup here. If you are FaZe thinking about it, be just 10 seconds on both sides. What do Optic want to do here? They're going to collect all of this time. Sell. He had eyes on Dashi. He's just hoping he can catch him. He crossed forward. He can't finish the kill. Gets eyes on Shotzi as well. Working up, trying to play on a takedown one. Drops him. Sit down. One versus two. 25 seconds on the clock. Here's the glass break up top and trying to get forward now. And they have no idea where Pred is on the map at the moment. Shotzi to go. There's 25 seconds left. Yeah. Someone, someone needs to go right. No, you blacked out. We were winning because I told you we need to get 10 seconds so that we're winning. What do you mean we're winning? There's we were, 10 seconds on the game. There's 10 seconds on the game cup, so all you needed to get 10 seconds to, to be in the lead, and then you get off the time. So they will, they will only have three seconds to win new. Oh really? Yes, yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. And then you didn't push off time. time and at that point, you said like, to me, I'm doubling time with you. And I was well, so it, at that because you didn't push off. I was like, AG, in 10 seconds, get off the time, and you didn't get off. So I was like, okay, fuck it, we're gonna just get this time. But literally, if we got like, when you said get off, I thought you meant like just I'm bumping you. Go. No, no, I didn't no, know no, the no, time. No, no, you're good. You're good. I was kind of like talking. I was like, yo, listen, like we're really not listening to each other. And actually, like I said it before, I said it before. I was like, 
I feel like my mic is muted. And I don't mean that in like no disrespectful way. I don't mean that in no ill intent. It's just like, I'm one of the more vocal, like most vocal on the team. So like, if I'm talking the most and I feel like I'm not being heard, you can tell us looking a little frantic or looking a little off on the map because then, then again, I feel like our game plan isn't being listened to. What I remember, we had a lead on map four and a BZ went crazy. Four in a row now for a BZ, finding another a BZ now with a cruise into the backpack. And you're roaring back in this one if you are phased. Next hard point, ready to pop. They still can't kill this man. If you're playing against the best, you can't allow them to get lost and go on crazy streaks or else they consequence you for it, so. Could come down to this, but a BZ back from spawn with another triple. If not, it's gonna throw a map two. Oh. So a P2, but he dodges it. Uh -oh. He's able to dodge a cruise, and now you have that full setup for Optic. One player, Simp, might be the one to make the play. Of course it's Simp. He's able to find two, and they wipe him off the board. Simp with, with the cross, the multi-kill He wins it on the hill. He tears him, take it over, and it's FaZe again. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. You can say or do, man. When Abe is doing what Abe does, man, that show is just fucking insane. Bro. I mean, insane. I, bro, Abe just did the end. Dude, he dodged the cross. What the fuck? Where did Sip get the two? Honestly, it looked, it looked like we were fine, and then two. The, the P3 to P4, the last one, we like doubled up Fountain, and then they hit old, and then they ran through mid because we had like we couldn't see anything. And then Abe solo, three dead, Abe stays alive and gets a, a nine piece. Whenever we have a minute, we should probably do, we should probably talk about like our like invasion offense, dude, for yeah, control. Because like, I don't know. I mean, I'm everything gonna, was like all there. over the place. So. Look at the like, I'm telling you, we're thinking about it like the wrong, bro. We do not guarantee B. I don't yeah. get how the one round I got to blue, I killed three, two or three, and I look back, we barely have like a oh, half yeah. a tick. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where's everybody else going? We're just like just won't sit on the point. Oh, yeah. And it's like I feel like it's if, if like me and Brandon don't sit on it with trophies, we don't ever like get a full account. Like there's no way in hell that we get that many kills and this and there's a 1v1 on the point. That's crazy because what you were saying, like every time they would go shoot you, like when you're fighting them, they just go up the red stairs. They're red stairs. There's always like one or and two. And then on the offense day too, I'm like, yo, AG, look at my red stairs from green, and they're running up red stairs killing them every time and i'm just so confused i'm like do we not have my red stairs if we don't it's fine i just feel like bro like i'm calling out or just not even responding so yeah, that's what, what that's what, what like half the series looked like literally I'm the other half that's like, what like i promise you i called out mc 10 times i didn't know mc was asd but i called out 10 times yeah i spawned up and for some reason every time i spawn up they always get the a spawn i spawn up there's a streak in there there's three yeah, they, they, they already have two ticks by the time i even spawn. i had one life we broke B, I died, I spawned up, they're literally two takes. We're calling up the child. Uh, when you said you're we should have won that, but like against New York, like this series can be fucking hell if we're playing like that. Just because of how they are. I'm good. I, like I said, I just Yeah. I feel like I I could have pinned a bit any more clear and that was that's pretty much it. series folks for split number two again it's been an absolute pleasure folks everyone that's joined us throughout the online qualifiers now here at land the big show three teams remain optic versus the subliners for a chance in the grand final the two players we highlighted from optic talking about their prowess on sub base are popping off once again kenny has dominated p2 and brad has dominated the game it is a massive lead built up by to break down this hill once again the kills flowing their way the time being collected 37 seconds and they win this game 49 against us for a moment but the game
We're running, the, we're running their shit right now. Guns up down the street. That nade's not gonna connect through the back. Hydra punches a hole all down the skies. A shot some of the tactical retreat. Can he find it here? I don't know if he knows exactly where he is. Yes, the teammates are there. I wanted to us to realize that it, we're dying so many times until we finish the same, but we're literally winning the game. Bro, they weren't even getting that's why, that's why I kept reinforcing, yo, we can get this wait, win. Wait, wait, wait. You know what I mean? Late on I, the game. Oh, bro, I almost went in scrum. Dude, I was, I was saying, I was saying to JP, I was like, bro, they all almost roasted him for that one. Bro, they you guys are all like, we all bit our, we actually all bit our tongue. No, no, bro, I was, like, I was, I, that was legit justice I, for that scrum. That's what I wanted to make sure. That's what I wanted to keep saying, like, yo, everyone regain. We're, we're, we're still in the lead, literally. Because me and Ann were literally getting fucking <laughs> wrong. And I, I got it. Like, MVP two. Do you, do you want to nah, pick real map two, or do you want to like pick turn? He was sitting there, dude. I don't know. I don't know. When we tried it, there was no real time. Or what? In. He even waited. Let's do real. Let's do real. Let's do real, and then they picked her. Right? Uh, because there'll be three searches. Yeah. What are the three They're searches? They're gonna have to pick yeah, turn. turn. Yeah. Hard point? No, no. We're vetoing hard point. Oh, the only, yeah. the only oh, veto we don't have. We veto hard point and switch veto. Control. control. Uh, well, no control veto. That's the only thing. No control veto, and they get some side veto. That's the only show thing. Wait, wait. So what's the only first map? Whatever they pick. Uh, I mean, it won't be. It'll. That's why we go through. We go through winners. It's like. Skid row, and then it's like normal. Brother, yeah. 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 This iteration of the Call of Duty Pro Team is one of the most exciting ones ever. <laughs> Just uh, everything was like smelling like a victory that was coming our way. I knew we were going to make it to Grands when we got knocked down into lowers. Um, just based on that event alone, but also this year, I feel like we just had an edge. We went into the finals, uh, you know, looking forward that we could definitely um, win this tournament. Man, the, the, the finals is so tough because I feel like a lot of those those games were such a coin flip of a couple kills. The next one's the map, right? It's the big, it's the invasion. The yeah. After. Yeah. Uh, All right, here we go. Invasion control. We just and we're on offense. Our losers final versus you have the players, the numbers. If you're Texas, and if there's a little more time, you only have four lives, but there isn't. Okay. Nice. It's gonna be an offense for us. Looking for round number round five. five. Close enough. All right. We do have two. We got two cruisers though. I like that. Stay just about even. Nothing too much to talk about there. Forty-three on the clock as well. Minute added on now. Here we go. Round five, minute 40 to work with. 
the tough part now for Optic Texas to get the win. You gotta get A. Definitely one I don't, I don't want to talk about because I feel like it's probably the worst play I ever made in my life. Like my career was on this map. And there we go, three dead. Oh. Sorry, four dead, three alive for Optic. Three on it. Oh my God, Trophy here we down. go. Going into the last point, we cap B, and then we went, we got like three or four dead. They ended up spawning close to the point. When I got the combat, they spawned close to the point. I took a child that definitely should not have happened. Trying to go, it's moving so quickly. Can they get in and get Tess? They're soaring through. It's just about done. The contest is in. Shots, he kills everybody in front of him. But Faze are able to get in. Just barely get in. One team kill hurts, but my God, it's close. They have one last chance if you're Optic. Oh my God, Kenny. No. No. They're holding for now. No. Fuck. Fuck. head i'm just like how could i ever make that play it was like literally this much for us to win the map uh and those are the ones that like just come back and they hurt and you think about it, it's like shit dude we were we were right there we were a sliver away from a map that could have turned the tide of the series you got eyes right on bomb he's gonna check the corner oh, oh, I really, really, really like this team. I think what, that what Kenny has brought to the table is uh, is something that we've needed for a very long time. It was a it was a heartbreaker to watch. Every single map in the finals felt like it was just a nail biter. But you know, it just you know, a couple a couple coin flips don't go our way, and it, the tournament just doesn't work out sadly. Yeah, it definitely hurts the mental because once again it's just like cheese when like, that one gunfight that's all you're thinking. You're not thinking about any hole or anything, any hill, you're just thinking about the one gunfight that you quite lost that was the biggest gunfight of the map. As long as we fine tune when the explosiveness happened, I think that we have a really, really exciting team that can that's gonna turn some heads into the future. So the, the state of Optic as it always has been, like making the business side or the back end of the business work while the front of the camera stuff continues to thrive. And we're talking esports, we're talking uh, content. I mean, everything that we're doing right now is, is like hitting peak form for me. I mean, it is cool to see that we're all still here, right? It's crazy to see what it's become, you know? From the Optic House stuff to the headquarters to this, it's like, it's just another one of our chapters and there's probably gonna be more after this. You know? I feel like everything's going well right now. I feel like everything that we've been doing has been still great, exciting. There's never a dull moment. There's always some shit happening. Obviously us, Halo, COD, and then uh, Apex. And I feel like we all have really good rosters, just good people putting out great content, good performances. And, uh, I mean, I think overall, just from like the morale standpoint, I think things are pretty good. The nucleus of Optic is very healthy, and I think our teams are great. But it's awesome to see in all of our esports, they are performing at the very top. They're in contention for number one. Since I've been here, it's been nothing but perfect. Content-wise, team-wise, staff-wise, everybody uh, has been very welcoming. For me, I'm super glad to be here. I just want to win championships. For me, that is always on my mind is to win a championship for this org. Right now, we're in a phase where we're kind of tiptoeing in the direction of where we, where we want to go, but we still kind of have one arm back on that pole. We're not necessarily letting go yet. It's really important for us to stay true to our, our values and our fans and making that a priority, right, in our community. But uh, I'd say our focus is is changing a little bit. And that's just gonna happen, right, as the company grows and we get bigger. Uh, obviously the watch party, we have live events, we have everything that has made us have the relationship that we have with you guys continue to thrive that way. But the back end needs to make sense. Um, so yeah, I look, if you were to ask me right now how happy I am about the state of Optic, I would say that there are a little bit of concerns, but the majority of my heart is filled with, with happiness as to how good Optic's going. And I'm happy that even Vision's back, at least for, for one episode or one season. Yeah. That could be better, but what are you gonna do? Dude, I mean, every time we film those things, like it, it, it brings me back to like the good old days where like out of nowhere, boom, Easter shell or what is it called, Easter egg? Yo, pace of play, man, we gotta go.
Huh. Come on. Men are behind us. us. Yeah, we got guys on us. Let's go. Four. That's oh, shit. One. I should have screamed that, right? Good addition. Good addition. Good addition. run a show over here at Optic. It's just three dudes going inside. Three guys. Making it work. <laughs>